Hi, I'm Nathan Oakley, and this is video log number 46. Um, it's been a mad few days. Um, my grandmother turned 100, and she's got like loads and loads and loads of relatives spilling by with cakes and cards, and you know, it's been great. You know, a lovely story to tell people about. Anyway, um, yeah, I've had uh, another guest on Flat Earth UK. Um, superb interview i was really delighted with how it went with insanity insanity if you're watching this thanks mate you're brilliant you know you were so good uh, and also had loads of responses from people who said that they want to be on the show um in most cases i'm just over the moon that i've got responses from them at all i'm sure i said this in another video log when i tested out my equipment but who cares but the thing i wanted to talk about in this video log was um the sort of last couple of days i've had my niece over which has meant loads and loads of sort of old cartoons, Disney and Pixar and, you know, all the rest of it. And they've been really tolerant, my sister and brother-in-law. You know, it's gone from a couple of months ago having full-out globular rows about Flat Earth and my brother-in-law debating his side of the, the, the non-Flat Earth coin, uh, you know, fighting for the globe model as you do. Um, so, yeah, it's gone from that to my sister phoning up going, what have you done to my husband? Why is he telling me about them not wanting to place their hand on the Bible and swear they went to the moon? You know, she's got venom. She's suddenly become a flat earth wife. <laughs> it's brilliant. Um, so, yeah, he he's uh, he won't, my brother-in-law this is, won't necessarily confess to being a flat earther, but he's far more receptive, as is my sister. So bearing that in mind while we were watching The Incredibles, um, you know, I do my usual trick and sort of dissect it up and explain every layer of programming that I spot as I spot it throughout the movie. And uh, without dissecting every single layer of it, the, the one that my sister didn't seem to be able to wrap her head around was um, the Illuminati programming. So we've got the movie set in now. It's modern times, if you like. And the characters, the main characters, the Incredibles, are all superheroes. You know, they've all got superpowers. And the one character can turn invisible. And uh, without saying too much about that in any context, she's she's got the Illuminati sign. She's got one um, one side of her face continually covered. And my sister was like, well, why do they want to program this in? And she'd been subject three years ago or maybe more uh, to me constantly talking about subliminal messages and subliminal programming and in a lot of subliminal embeds I won't dissect what that means but in a lot of subliminal embeds you get Illuminati programming now in my mind correct me if I'm wrong or correct me if you just disagree in my view but it's just my opinion there's like an onion of lies and peeling off the globe lie and then peeling back the subliminal lie and, and then seeing what's underneath isn't necessarily anything truthful it's just something that that they want to hide so that inquisitive people will dig it out find it and think they've found truth and in the case of illuminati programming what what you find is that you know they, they, they link them the, the powers that be will link themselves to these things so that when you find this programming and, and, and unlock your so-called truth um you'll associate those people with all the other subliminal levels of programming about the Illuminati or the all-seeing eye or Ra or whatever you want to call it that they drop in there and in the case of the Incredibles they're doing it so that they create this Illuminati image around the family so that they are representative of the powers that be so when if you want to look at it in this way if you peel one layer of the onion away and you find that it's all Illuminati symbolism that's being hidden in plain sight in your movies and your TV, <coughs> excuse me, and your magazines. And then you look into the Illuminati and find out that it's, you know, mystical and powerful. And that seats nicely in your mind because you've only ever seen, you know, that imagery associated with superheroes and incredible things. Uh, then you do a little bit more digging and find that Alex Jones is exposing that the powers that be really do take part in rituals and, you know, they're part of the occult. And your mind will put these pieces together and come up with an image of Star Wars men in capes with lightning coming out of their fingers. In other words, the powers that be are genuinely powerful and mystical and have all sorts of crazy powers. Um, and the Illuminati element of that is just another layer of a massive lie. Um, KJ did a piece on the Pepsi uh, programming and you know he was linking it back to the alien deception 
fallen angels and most of this stuff is biblical in terms of how they will put it out there you know there's always going to be little religious references in there uh to to to, to get that part of your mind that's also you know, put in there from your education if you've had normally a western upbringing you're going to have had that sort of ele those elements those biblical elements will have been in your education at some stage or another so that you will root you will take the memory from your you know your your deepest parts of your mind when you link these pieces together thinking you're finding truth so there we go that's that's kind of my my little take on the the, the interesting weekend and above all else the the illuminati program that is in the incredibles movie i've been nathan oakley i'll see you in the next video log